Hey, Chris, it's Jamie. Happy holidays. Hey, Jamie, thanks for uh, taking the time. You can hear me okay? I can hear you great. Thank you for having me back. Excellent. You are sounding good, too. We are rolling here in three, two, one. Well, maybe this weekend uh, you're having the uh, first of your holiday gatherings, uh, certainly over the next several days. Tis the season, rolling right mm -hmm. on through Christmas and into New Year's. But if you're not looking forward to it, take a deep breath. We're going to help you out with uh, smart entertaining for the holidays with celebrity chef Jamie Gwen. Jamie, first of all, thanks for uh, taking the time once again. As always, we certainly do appreciate it. Oh, I'm grateful for you as well, Chris. Thank you for having me back. And as I like to say, season's eatings to you. <laughs> I think you've got some, some great stuff uh, for the courtesy of the uh, Daily Lounge uh, to uh, highlight this morning that will uh, turn the entertaining chore that most people look at into something that's a little less taxing. Uh, and the first, uh, the very first thing, and I love this, a great way to um, set things up for a festive event uh, right out of the gate. Yeah, definitely so. I think we should cheers each other and toast with a cocktail as all great parties should start. Um, I'm all about enjoying the party. I always am, but this year especially, I, you know, I'm looking forward to time with my family and friends. And throughout the year, uh, I love my Bartesian, but never more than at the holidays when everybody is making their own cocktail. How, you ask? This is how you make five to four 50 cocktails for your guests perfectly, or better yet, it's DIY, so they do it themselves. It's called the Bartesian Duet. It is Bartesian's newest, most compact, smart home cocktail maker. So if you have a smart home, if you love cocktails, I will tell you, it's brilliant. And you know what, Chris? It becomes the life of the party. So there are fully recyclable capsules that contain all of the real juices and bitters and extracts needed for that perfectly balanced cocktail. There's nothing artificial. It's really the quality of the ingredients to me that makes the difference. You simply put the capsule of the drink into the machine. You use the new interactive rotary dial to select the strength. You press a button and voila. You get a margarita or a cosmopolitan or a whiskey sour or my favorite old fashioned. It is an unbelievable way to enjoy your party and everyone gets what they want and it becomes a conversation starter and it's exclusively available at Bartesian.com because they just released the duet and you can save $50 right now. Have you seen one? No, I, I have uh, for those who haven't, uh, think of a uh, Keurig for adult drinks is basically the concept here. Yes. And I'll tell you, my friends come over and they beeline for it from the front door. Like it's my <laughs> appliance. Uh, it's like my appliance of conversation because everybody wants what they want. You don't have to be mixing cocktails over and over. You're not making a batch drink. Um, you know, there's just a beauty to yeah. it, I would say, and everyone gets what they want consistently delicious. So that is the cocktail portion of your party covered. Now we have to eat. Okay. So, uh, let's yes. start with some festive appetizer ideas here. You got it. Okay. So, um, ask any chef or most of us at least, and I'll tell you, I think, and my comrades would agree that frozen puff pastry is a wondrous thing. I always have a box of frozen puff pastry on hand. And I, at the holidays, make my feta salami and pearls specialties, jalapeno stuffed olive tree tarts. So think of a sheet of puff pastry thawed and sprinkled with crumbled feta, or you could use a, an herby goat cheese or even a cream cheese, and then layered with salami and pearls jalapeno stuffed olives. Now, I've been a longtime fan of pearls olives. If you've done the homework, which I have, you know that not all olives are created equal. And pearls olives are hand-picked, hand-stuffed. This is a specialty olive, but when it comes to the texture and the flavor, there's nothing better. And you get the spicy jalapeno with the buttery puff pastry. This whole thing is just delicious. Put another sheet of puff pastry on top. Now you have layers and you cut strips and then you just kind of overlap them to look like a tree. 
and you skewer them and bake them about 15 minutes later, you can put a cheese star or a pearls olive on top. And it's really fun and festive. It's a delicious appetizer. Everybody loves it and made with pearls. By the way, pearls guarantees that if you don't love their olives, they'll give you your money back. Very cool. What else have you got yes. for us here? All right. Uh, I happen to still and always will love a board. It could be a plate, a platter. It could be your entire countertop. But I love a grazing party. I don't think there's need to serve a four course meal. So I have been long for a long time now traditionally doing a Mediterranean board. And it starts with tofayan pita. So there is a difference in pita as well. And tofayan pita is like soft and fluffy. It's baked in a, a traditional hearth. It just has everything going for it. It's a family run company. Uh, and I love them. I, I love the pita themselves for stuffing with meats and cheeses, for uh, putting out with hummus and, you know, chunks of feta. There's something beautiful about it. And then I like to make pita chips homemade from Tafoyan pita, just cut into triangles, drizzled with good quality olive oil and baked off. But that's the best holiday grazing party to me. And then after that, I think you're full enough and you can move on to dessert. Absolutely. And you have a terrific uh, <laughs> dessert idea, I do. just uh, perfect for the holiday season. It is. It's very festive. I made this cake with my son yesterday and I defend him off all night from eating the whole thing. Uh, it's <laughs> Pillsbury's candy cane poke cake. And if you've seen it before, it uses Pillsbury moist supreme white cake mix, which by the way, I grew up on Pillsbury and chocolate fudge frosting and candy cane pieces on top. It has a marshmallow filling. It's like out of this world, decadent, delicious. And it's made with a box cake mix, but I have to tell you, growing up, my mom made and still does the best chocolate chip bunt cake. You use Pillsbury devil's food cake mix and chefs do it too, by the way. My mom adds a cup of sour cream to all the other ingredients and a cup of chocolate chips. And it's like the best cake you ever had. So I, make I, memories, I, right? I was going to say, uh, you know, again, here we have a celebrity chef talking about baking a cake out of a box. It is not against the rules. So don't it feel is not. guilty about that. No, not don't at all. And I believe... I believe in store-bought to homemade. I mean, sometimes, you know, there just isn't time to measure like that. And there's a there's a flavor profile to it that I remember from my childhood. And my son yeah. loves it now, too. So I love a gift of food, and I, Pillsbury's my go-to as well. Like, I'll bring gooey brownies to someone's house, or I'll wrap up, you know, cupcakes using Pillsbury's best. So I think that's the way to do it. And sometimes, you know, in a time crunch or otherwise, you just want that flavor, flavor from the past Nothing. and still yeah. is good today. Yeah. Nothing wrong with nothing wrong with making it easy on yourself. Uh, certainly, this no, time of year. Not Celebrity at all. chef Jamie Gwen is with us uh, this morning. Uh, all some uh, great, entertaining, and uh, festive food ideas. Where do we get more, Jamie? All of the recipes and inspiration. Thank you, Chris. Posted at dailylounge.com dailylounge.com and then you know my um sometimes shameless but always gluttonous posts are on social at chef jamie gwen i mean you know i could eat that whole cake <laughs> we, we will uh, link it up on our web page as well chef jamie gwen thanks very much for taking the time happy holidays thank you my friend happy holidays to you all right, I think we've got it. Thanks, Jamie. Take thank care. you, thank you. I appreciate you.